Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today, belts. Starter generator belt and your drive belt. We'll be working on a Yamaha G9. Now the starter generator belt, it'll work on everything from a G2 up to a G14 and then for the Yamaha drive. The drive belt itself will work on everything from a G2 to a drive. So we've got our two belts, we've got our golf car, let's get started. Okay, I've put the car in neutral and we've removed the rear body so that you can see what we're actually doing here, but you don't have to do that. Now, what I'm doing here on the back is taking the belt, putting it on the top of the sheave of the secondary clutch and just rolling it right over. It's that simple. Now with a little twisting, a little tugging, the belt will come right on out. What we'll do is lift it from around the clutch Okay, for the starter generator belt, we just got to do just a little bit more. Let's remove this back hose because we're going to be taking the uh, breather off. Remove the uh, hose from the carburetor. Normally that would be a clamp. We'll have to sip, fix that later. And we've got to remove two 10 millimeter bolts. So let's get these out of here. Now lift back and up. Okay, now that we've got the air cleaner out of the way, I've got a 17 millimeter socket on one end. A 17 millimeter wrench is going to go on the other. There's a mounting bolt on the very bottom, which actually mounts the starter generator to the frame. So what I'm going to do is just break it loose. Not taking it out, just going to break it loose. Okay, now that I've got that, I'll get my 12 millimeter socket and loosen the adjustment bolt on top. Okay, now with a couple of turns of this one, and the adjustment bolt is loose, giving me access to move the starter generator and just slide the belt off. Now, to replace, we first start with the starter generator belt, rolling it back on. Difference this time, we'll need a pry bar. You'll put it between the starter generator and the block of the engine. You do not press hard, just a little taunt. And then we'll tighten the 12 millimeter bolt adjustment bolt first. Now that that is good and tight, We'll tighten the 17 millimeter bolt on the bottom. And with a couple of turns, the mounting bolt is tight again. Starter generator belt is good and tight. Now let's put the drive belt on. Now with the car still being in neutral, we'll just slide over one clutch, put it on the top of the secondary clutch, and just roll it over. Got it on, we'll get the air cleaner on next and we'll be done. Okay, on the bottom of the air cleaner, there is this little hole here. There is a mounting guide this must slide on, on the bracket. So we'll set it down, slide it on. Then we'll put our two 10 millimeter bolts in. Look at the rear breather tube and the breather tube back onto the carburetor. And here's where we would adjust the, the uh, tightness of the clamp if it had one on it. I've got to go to the store and get one. But for now, we're done. Well, I hope today's episode was helpful for you, changing out our, our belts. If you have anything that you'd like to see us change out or upgrade, please leave me a note in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.